Thank you so much for watching Rift TV. Now this interview is obviously with video, but I don't interview everybody on Zoom. That's why I put it on my Talkin' Rock with Meltdown podcast. We talk to rock artists from all over the genre. So check out Talkin' Rock with Meltdown wherever you get your podcasts. And now to today's video interview. And once again, I am joined by greatness. Lothar, how are you? I'm pretty, pretty doggone good. Excellent. Uh, first off, I have to thank you for your hospitality when I came and saw you guys in uh, Milwaukee last year, right around Halloween. And you guys were so nice uh, before the show to meet with me. And you even offered to kill me, which I thought was fantastic. Well, you know, we, we do what we can to accommodate our fans and friends with instant death. Right, exactly. Yeah, they offered to kill me on stage, but apparently um, I was uh, outmanned by a, a radio station winner who didn't show up that night. I don't know what happened there. So, Oh, I, that's so ridiculous. Yeah. hate it when that happens. Yeah, that was at the Rave. I've never been to that place before, but that place is pretty cool. It is. It's, uh, it's haunted. A haunted former Eagles club. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like some weird defunct branch of the of the Masons. <laughs> It's a very, very strange venue to be in because they they have a. It's been there for a long time, and we used to go down in the basement and hang around, and uh, you know you could. I remember one time there was a wall that was knocked down, and we went in there and discovered that it had been a, a bomb shelter in World War II. Got a bunch of K rations to eat. Wow. Yeah, I think I remember you telling me that that the the, the downstairs was crazy. Of course, uh, for people that, that don't know, that's like uh, that that place has like tons of rooms, and it's somewhat indestructible, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty crazy. There's at least, at, I mean, I know of four stages in there. So yeah, and uh, I was outside waiting for my Uber to come and take me back to my uh, hotel that night, and right across the street is where Jeffrey Dahmer killed one of his victims in that hotel. Yeah, I know. It's so creepy. Yeah, it's weird. So uh, anyways, what do you guys have going on right now? What's going on in the Guar camp? Well, you know, um, not much, not a whole lot. Uh, I, I, what is this? This is my publicist keeps dinging me. Doesn't he know that I'm on the interview that he set up? Right, exactly. Doofus. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, right now we are preparing for a uh, special uh televised and radio event that i can't announce oh really uh, yeah but you know so we're, we're getting ready to do that and uh we're working on a record i'm uh writing lyrics all the time which puts me in a very foul mood um and uh you know i mean we, we never stop working we're trying to we're uh getting ready for a tour which we also can't announce uh and i'm getting ready to go to astronomicon now that that i can't announce uh, so we're we're going to be up up you know at a uh, right outside of Detroit in Michigan there and, uh, doing uh, uh, a convention and uh, I'll be there with all of the other you know a star studded cavalcade oh, oh it is a star studded cavalcade I know that uh, uh, who is it that's going to be there I I know that there's lots of lots of horror people are going to be there. Yeah, horror people, uh, you know, uh, Jay and Silent Bob, guys like that, you know. Uh, my yeah, friend, you yeah. Know, a lot of the wrestling guys are going to be there as well. And you're only going to be- That's what I'm excited about, the wrestling guys. Is that right? You're a big wrestling fan, are you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Who are, who are some of your heroes from the world of wrestling? Well, I mean, back in the day, I really liked uh, Black Jack Mulligan and Dusty Rhodes and- yeah. Ivan Koloff. I mean, Ivan Koloff had a lot to do with the foundation of Guar, to be honest with you. Like uh, uh, one of the founding fathers of some of the, not just one, but the whole group of the uh, sort of original artists that made Guar used to always go down to the Richmond Coliseum and, and, and put on some red shirts with yellow hammer and sickles on them. Uh, and just tempt fate with the rednecks at the Coliseum, like voting, voting, you know, rooting for uh, Ivan Koloff and and Nikita Khrushchev, I guess his uh, his young tag team partner. Um, so those were those were good old days. Now you know it's weird because the wrestlers wrestlers should be big, fat, out of shape guys that <laughs> only vaguely look like they're in, you know, that they should be doing something like that. Now they're all skinny and flying around the ring. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You're not a uh, big high flyer fan, right? 
Yeah, yeah, but I like you know, and I I do like that five dollar wrestling. I like that a lot. The uh, I don't know if you've seen that. The I don't think they actually run it anymore, but it's completely depressing wrestling that takes place in front of about you know fourteen people with folding chairs in a high school gymnasium somewhere. Those that's what I like. Yeah, the independent wrestling. I was just at one of those uh, over the weekend. It was actually packed, and uh, my friend Rhino, who's going to be at Astronomicon, was there. Uh, you're going to be there at Astronomicon. By the way, that said, the, the uh, Burton Manor in Livonia, just outside of Detroit, you're going to be there on Friday and Saturday, March 3rd and 4th for photo ops and that kind of thing, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be there. And yeah. I am going to be square because that's my shape, vaguely square. Uh, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to meet people. <clears throat> Always excited to meet our fans. Now, there was a few things you said you can't talk about, but you do have some uh, festivals and stuff coming up this summer. You're going to be hopping on. Uh, you're playing uh, incarceration, things like that. You're going over to Europe for some festivals. But yep. you mentioned that you're really not doing much now, but you are writing stuff. So the record came out last summer, The New Dark Ages. So tell us about uh, maybe what's in your brain. What, what, what kind of stuff are you thinking about for the next record? Well, I mean, you know, The New Dark Ages, we're still sort of touring out on that. And there's a lot of it that we haven't even – played live yet which and I, I can't wait to get on stage and we do have some touring in the states that's one thing that i'm sitting on here but uh that is coming up we're going to be going out um we just can't sort of say what what the package is right now um, i have a secret package you should see my package it's secret uh, but we do have uh have that coming up and uh but as far as writing songs and, and thinking about music right now, you know, we're working on a, a, a really big project that uh, involves Guar and and the story of Guar and film and all, all kinds of stuff that, that, that we're working on. And so the music that we're writing right now is, is, is geared towards uh, this idea that Guar is going to you know, once again, work on a feature length film and put it out. And uh, that that's kind of shaping what we're doing is uh, the, the narrative that we're working on uh, for this film. Uh, you know, at the least, it'll make it on an album, but hopefully it makes it into uh, into everybody's living room. That's what you need is guar in your living room. Well, there's no question about that. So I'm, I'm just kind of fishing here a little bit, but uh, maybe a little bit of a concept stuff, a uh, concept record of sorts or no? Uh <laughs> Not as much of a, I mean, every Guar record is a concept record, you know. Um, they all, uh, at least most of them have some kind of a theme of going all the way back to, uh, at least to America Must Be Destroyed, right? Which uh, was kind of the first deliberately conceptual record that we made. But um, before that, it was just an accident. It was an accidentally concept record. Um, but, you know, it, it in less of a concept record and more of just sort of, you know, I mean, this like New Dark Ages is really geared around the comic book. It's geared around the, the graphic novel that came out uh, to accompany it. So uh, there's a lot of songs that reflect uh, the narratives in that in that comic book. Um, and this this record is going to be the same thing. It's just reflecting uh, what's going to be going on in this uh, in the film that we're working on. Now, speaking of films, of course, uh, This Is Guar is out on Shudder right now, and uh, I don't have Shudder. I guess I have the other 82 streaming services, but I think I'm missing a lot if I don't have Shudder, isn't it? I'm a horror movie fan, and that's all on there, isn't it? Shudder is 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 great. I mean, it's uh, I, I was amazed because until until we got on the network, I didn't really, you know, I knew it existed, and I was like, you know, I remember when it came out, and it was oh, wow, you know, here's something with horror movies. But, but like you said, everybody has a lot of streaming services. So, uh, but once I actually started watching it, I was like, okay, yeah, I, you know, this is, for me, I mean, it's way more useful than than Netflix. I mean, it's got a, a lot of, uh, you know, obviously Netflix has a, a ton more variety, but Shudder is really focused on an area that Guar is very interested in, which is horror and uh, uh, to some degree science fiction, but, you know, uh, mostly horror stuff. And it's all divided by genre. It's really geared towards uh, horror. And, and, and that, I don't know, I love it. I love it. Guar is very influenced by horror movies. Uh, 
so I've, I've really enjoyed watching it because there's a ton of stuff on there that I wouldn't otherwise see uh, and that I don't think you can get on other streaming services. Yeah. Have you been, uh, have you been out to see any of the, the, the latest horror movies like in the theaters or anything? You know, I haven't uh, mainly because uh, we've been so busy and when, when we go on the road, uh, while we do like to go and, and enjoy our days off at deserted shopping malls that are full of zombies, for some reason, I just wind up hanging out in the food court and maybe, you know, sitting in one of the massage chairs. I never I never actually go to the movies. Yeah, when I went to see you guys in Milwaukee, I actually went to a movie theater that night, an old movie theater with like the old style where the seats were just above each other. And I watched um, I watched Fright Night, the original one. It was playing from like 19, whatever it was, 87 or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be great. I don't know. I mean, have you seen any of the most recent horror movies or are there any yeah. good ones? I saw Megan. That was pretty good. I saw um, Infinity Pool, which is pretty decent. Terrifier 2, I thought was uh, dumb and fun. Uh, yeah. You know, That's the only one I've been interested in seeing is Terrifier yeah. 2. Did you get a chance to see it? I didn't. No, not yet. Yeah, that's a good one. It's it's dumb and fun, like I said. But uh, um, Skinner Marink, I just thought was awful. But you know, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I I paid <laughs> I paid to see that one in the theater, and it, uh, I couldn't wait for it to end. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that's that, a good theatrical experience. I can't wait for this to end. It was it was terrible. <laughs> Hopefully, that's what our movie will do to people. We want people to be just looking at their watches from the first <laughs> minute on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be that. That'd probably not be a great, uh, great experience, I suppose. But uh, I don't think I've talked to you. Uh, it's been a while since I talked to you, but uh, um, I haven't talked to you since this Lizzie Hale song, "The Cutter," came out. So, um, how was she to work with? I mean, Lizzie's like one of the best people around, huh? Oh yeah, I mean, she's a just a very, very talented. Uh, really, you know, she's just such a, a great singer and such a, a great musician. Uh, and yeah, she's also just a great person. She's fun to be around. And uh, um, I really enjoyed working with her. I think she's, uh, I think she's, I think she's great. Yeah. Did, did, did she know anything about Guar? Was she a fan? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, she knew about Guar and then she actually made up, you know, her own character. I mean, that uh, for the, you know, which on the cutter, she's, she's playing the a, a different role, but you know, she's actually now we we consider her a sister to Guar, and she has a a, a character. Uh, so we're excited about that. Yeah, next time you're in Nashville, did did she go on stage with you or anything? She hasn't yet, but she probably will. You could offer to kill her on stage, like you did with me. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, although if I get her up there, I'm gonna want to do you know Islands in the Stream or something. <laughs> yeah there you go is 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 guar one of these bands i don't know i've thought about this you probably answered this question a million times is this one of these bands that's just going to continue to go uh continue to go where to the bathroom like yeah, yeah, just to keep going on and uh, on. yes i i sometimes that's what happens to me i <laughs> you know, i'm a little older and my prostate you know whatever. but i mean of course we're going to continue to go we're gonna but i don't know how exactly how long but or where we're going to but yeah guar is guar is in it for the long haul the longest haul probably this is this this haul is too long let me just put it like that when is this haul going to end uh, but we, we're still we're still doing it and and we are still having fun and it's going to go until we stop i suppose yeah, you got some uh, crazy fans, like I told you at the show in in, uh, in Milwaukee. That was the first time I'd ever seen you guys before. And there's all the fans out there with the white t-shirts and stuff. And those people couldn't wait to get it right up close. And then everybody asked me when I saw the show. So did you get stuff all over you? I'm like, no, I was up in the upper level watching from from the bird's eye view. I had to catch the whole show. Yeah, yeah, it's that's 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 a good way to do it. You know, you don't want to be down there with the maniacs that get turned into dog food at the end of the show. No, it was great. An awesome experience. I think everybody should have a chance to go see Guar. Me too. I and really do. Maybe this year as you're talking about with the, with the, with the tour and a package coming up, huh? Yeah. Package. Come see my package. That's right. Well, we'll be able to see your package coming up on March uh, 3rd and 4th. Uh, anything else that we should know about in your world? What's happening? Well, you know, like I said, check out the graphic novel. We got a bunch of cool new, uh, 
products. Uh, product. some, <laughs> there's no end to the level that we will prostitute ourselves. <laughs> How are those selling? They selling pretty good. Oh yeah, the uh, you know I, I think we we may be talking about the uh, the particular marital aid, the Guam right. marital aid. Yeah, that's that's flying off the shelves. Let me tell you, people can't wait to get a hold of that thing. People are vibrating with anticipation for that. They really are. Yeah, uh, you, you're doing this uh, astronomicon like we like we've been talking about. You've done a lot of these in the past. I'm sure. What 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 kind of things do people have you sign? Is there anything crazy that people have you sign? Well, I mean, you know, there's always people that want us to sign their 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 buttholes, but, yeah. which we can't do. You right. know, I, I I make the the L, you know, the B and the L, and then guess what the O is. <laughs> uh, but you know, I mean, we 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 sign we sign all kinds of things. You know, underwear. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think the weirdest thing. Oh yeah, artificial limbs. We definitely sign some of those. Uh, um and you know i mean pretty much anything anybody brings i like it when they bring pictures of another band or another person that they want you to sign i really appreciate that here can you sign this picture of first jason <laughs> yeah okay no problem um <clears throat> so yeah i mean we'll sign anything of course all of our ridiculous products you know what i haven't signed one of those uh one of those cuttlefishes of cthulhu i haven't signed one of those yet mm, but, right. we'll have to put yeah i know yeah, I, I remember one of my friends in a band, I can't remember which band told me that he's signed actually a, a CD burned copy of their CD. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's 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 a classy move. <laughs> so that's uh, March 3rd and 4th. You're only going to be there on Friday and Saturday, so I'll probably see you there on a Saturday. But uh, uh, Blothar, always great to uh, see and talk with you. And once again, thanks for your hospitality last fall in uh, Milwaukee. It was, it was a show I won't, I won't soon forget. Well, good. I'm glad. 